That's another nugget. You got to realize that the, the devil will use people at times. But people can change. So you can be walking around with unforgiveness because of what somebody did to you 10 years ago. But 10 years later, they ain't even that same person. So while you walk around with unforgiveness, God done changed this individual. Y'all ain't sit quiet up in here, boy. God done changed this individual, and you walk around feeling like you justified with your unforgiveness. But the truth of the matter is, you done done dirt too. Oh my God, I can't get no help in here. The truth of the matter is, all of us have hurt somebody. Amen. But you want folks to have grace to you that you done changed. You want folks to look over you and say, Amen, and, and take a second look at you. But you got to have that same mentality when it comes to other people. Because if you don't, you won't be able to reach and experience the destiny that God got for you. You got to let it go. You got to forgive. You got to move on beyond what you've been through. God was teaching him a lesson in forgiveness. And the Bible said he cried, amen, and held his brothers, amen, and shared with them what was going on. Long story short, praise God, he moved his whole family up there where they were. Y'all ain't saying nothing. They ain't doing the best part of Egypt. So y'all can have all this, all this yours. Y'all ain't Amen. Move everybody up. Bear everybody. Bring everybody. Sheep, oxen, everything you got. Bring it up here. As a matter of fact, when you get up here, I got something for you. I'm going to double and triple everything, y'all. Y'all ain't saying. See, God will cause you not only to be blessed, but he'll cause you to be a blessing to the very one that hated you, that persecuted you. Amen. You don't know who it is that you're persecuting, that you may need later on. And he blessed them and caused them to be blessed through what he went through. But one thing we learned, praise God, amen, through Joseph's life is that you can't keep God's anointed down. It doesn't matter what, amen, you go through, praise God. When you are anointed and have favor on your life, it doesn't matter where you go, it doesn't matter what the enemy does, amen, you will always rise to the top. Amen. They used to say the cream will always rise to the top. Amen. And you got to understand when favor is on your life, it doesn't matter what the enemy does, what he says. Amen. You can take my hand. You can plot up some stuff. You can try to serve this girl. But you can't stop me when God has tagged me to favor. Somebody say, I got favor on me. I got favor on me. I know you don't understand what's going on. I got favor on me. You don't understand why I'm smiling even though I'm going through. I got favor on me. You don't understand all the stuff I've been through. I still got a smile on my face because I recognize I got favor on my life. Amen. Then he prepares you. God will prepare you for your destiny. The things that he had went through taught him how to be a good leader. Oh my God, Jesus. See, some of the stuff you've been through, you don't realize God is grooming you for where he's taking you from. Amen. Because he's seen what bad leadership do. Because he's seen, amen, how to not be respectful of people. When he got his position, he said, I'm not going to be like that. I understand what power is about. Now, understand what authority is. It's not about me. It's to be a benefit and to bless people. And because God had taken him through some stuff, when he got to his promised land, he was able to handle what God got for him. Some of you ought to be glad God ain't gave you your stuff too early. Oh my God, I can't get no help. Some of you ought to be glad God didn't give you that blessing two years ago. Because you'd have messed it all up. You weren't where you thought you were. You weren't who you thought you were. God still went through processing you. And if he'd have gave you that blessing ahead of time, you would have messed it all up. Amen. But God knew what he had to take him through in order for him to bless him. And God carried him through to bless him. I want to run through some points, praise God. Early on in Joseph's life, Joseph wasn't ready. He was a novice. God had to prepare him. Joseph was proud. Proud of the fact that his father favored him above his other brothers. So he had to go through. Joseph, amen, had to suffer. That's part of preparation. Amen. How many know you're going to have to suffer in this way? Amen, praise God. And that's a word that the church don't like to hear. We don't want to suffer. We don't want to go through nothing. I'm sick and tired of folks always trying to move mountains and speak stuff out of existence. Sometimes you're going to have to say, Lord, just give me the strength to climb it. Because if God wants you to go through some stuff, it doesn't matter what you say. You can speak. You can fast. You can do whatever you got to do. But if God said, no, not this mountain. You can't speak to this one. You're going to have to go through this one. Amen. Your destiny is on the other side of this one. You can't speak to this one. You're going to have to go through this one. You're going to have to go down and they're doing some stuff because your blessing is on the other side of his mouth. Some stuff you're going to have to just go through. Joseph had to learn to walk upright even in the midst of his trials. How many know it's easy to do right 
when everything going good. Y'all yes. yes. listen. Yes. It ain't hard to do the right thing when everything going good. Yes. Amen. It ain't hard to give if you got a million dollars in your bank account. Yes. Amen. But what about when God tell you to give your last? Amen. Yes. Amen. To somebody in need. Y'all listen. Yes. Amen. Then you doing something. Anybody yes. can do good to those that do right to them. What about when he said love your enemies? Amen. And pray for those that despitefully use you. Can you do it then? Anybody can talk the talk. But God going to put you in some situation where you're going to have to walk this thing. Oh, my God, I feel like preaching. Oh, thank you. Joseph had to learn true love for his brother and even part of his wife. Y'all listen. He even had to forgive somebody he did seven years of hard labor for, even though he didn't Sometimes even do God. He ran right back in the face of that one that could have destroyed you. That one that set you up, that could have caused your life to go a whole other way. And you might come right back to them again and look them in their face and say, look here, I forgive you. I'm all right. Amen. It's all good. Amen. I know you don't know. Amen. Praise God. How I'm where I'm at, but I forgive you. It's all good. I don't know nothing but the blessings for you. Sometimes God will bring you right into the presence of those people. Amen. And you've got to learn how to release some stuff and let it go. Joseph walked in his gift for nothing. Without money, without recognition, without glory, behind the scenes. How many of you sleeping on gifts that God got for you? Because you wait for everything to get lined up just right for you to use it. Amen. Joseph used his gift when nobody even paid attention to him. Amen. He got no glory, no credit. He got crap on. He still uses it. He didn't get paid for it. He still uses his gift. Amen. You're going to have to understand that you are not equal with your gift. Your gift is not yours. Amen. It belongs to the Lord. And everything we got, we got to give it to God. I remember the old folk used to say, God, to be our own, all our own God. Amen. Praise God. We don't sing songs like that no more. Praise God. But we used to sing songs, amen, saying, Lord, all that I am, all that I'm not, I'm yours, Lord. Try me now and see that I will be completely yours. We got a time now where folk want to use what they want to use and do what they want to do. But God want to see, can you still be used even in the midst of you not having what you want? You better say so now. Come on. Chris. Got an attitude I ain't saying today. Huh? I ain't got what I want. I ain't preaching no more. God ain't did what I wanted him to do. Amen. Is it about you or is it about God? The gifts of God are without you. They're not about you. It's about God. Yes. Last amen. He didn't bow down to no other gods no matter what. Amen. No one said he made a stand. And he didn't yield to temptation. Amen. God blessed him even in his pit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God rose him up even in the midst of it. There is another side of the story, praise God. There is, amen, a blessing, amen, on the other side for your pressing. God will give you double for your trouble, amen, but you got to learn how, praise God, to trust God and hang in there. Even when things get hard, you still, amen, got to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In this way, sometimes you'll have to walk on right before God, amen, even when it hurts you. Sometimes, amen, I got to press my way, amen. Amen, when I don't feel like it. I got an attitude. Amen. Don't want to be here. Don't want to be bothered. But sometimes you got to press your way. Even when your flesh is fighting against you. Even when your mind is roaring against you. You still got to get in the place. Amen. When you're able to press and do the things of God. God wants us to get to a place. Amen. Where we're able to move beyond flesh. Ah, come on. And, come on and speak it, man. God. You're not going to reach your destiny if you succumb to flesh. You better say it. You're going to have to kill flesh in order to do this. But you got to make up in your mind. I'm not serving you in the flesh. I'm not serving you according to my situation. I'm, work, I'm walking in the spirit. I serve you according to the spirit. I serve you according to what your word says. And I got to walk in obedience even when I don't feel like it. And God will bless you according to your obedience. According to your obedience. Come on now. Amen. So I don't want you to get scared of faith. I don't want faith in me. I got to go all this. <laughs> I don't want to be jailed. I don't want to go to prison for something I ain't need. I don't want to be thrown in the pit. I don't want to have all these haters. I don't want to have all of this. But trust me, when Joseph got to where he was at, Amen. he looked over his life. The Bible says he had a reflection moment in the 51st chapter. Where he looked, the Bible says he remembered that dream. Amen. At 17, what God had told him. And he looked at all that he went through and looked at all he has now and said, it's worth it. 
Because if that meant I'm going to be able to be financially in a position to take care of my whole family, my God, I feel the power of God. Amen. If it meant, praise God, that I could finally have my brothers and sisters together. Amen. And not only have them together, see, don't talk about the sisters. He has sisters too. Amen. Aunties, uncles, cousins. He brought the whole family together. Oh. And, and if it meant that I had to be thrown in the pit, amen, that all my family would be saved, y'all ain't saying nothing. If it meant that I had to be go to jail and go to prison for a crime I didn't commit, amen, to watch my father roll and not have to work another day in his life because I got so much money, amen, that not only would not my grandchildren can't even spend it, y'all ain't said nothing. If it meant that I had to go through all that, amen, to reach the benefit, then guess what? I'll go through it again. It was worth it. God will bless you so to you look over your life and say, you know what? It was worth it. Amen. If I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have complained, God. If I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have strayed away. If I knew then what I know now, God, I would have kept on holding on to your hand. 